The next time you send someone a PowerPoint presentation, add a voiceover. As someone once said, reading is hard, but listening is easy. In this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways to add audio to your presentation. You can choose the one that works best for you. I'm also gonna give you a bonus tip, one that I've been wanting to share for a long time. Here I have a presentation on the movies I've seen this year. To add audio, I go to the Insert tab, and over here I've got audio. I've got two options here. I can add an audio file, so maybe I've already got a recording, but to add a recording straight onto the slide, then go to record audio. You get this dialog box here. Give your recording a name and then click record to begin. Say what you need to say. And then when you've completed the recording, click stop. You can click here to review the recording or here to re-record. And when you re-record, it will start it from the beginning. So you won't be recording from where you left off. Once complete, click OK. And you've got the little audio icon here. Sometimes it's hard to see depending on the background. So I'm gonna move this one over here in the corner. By clicking on that icon, I can also play it back from here too. Up here, I've got two new tabs. I've got audio format. This allows me to format the icon. And then the other option you've got here is playback. With playback, you can trim the audio. You can choose when it fades in and fades out. You can control the volume. Click here to choose when the audio starts. So maybe I want the audio to start automatically. Choose how the audio plays across the presentation. So do I want this audio clip to play across all my slides or just this one here? I can also get it to play on loop until it's stopped. Hide during the show will hide the audio icon when you're playing the presentation. And you'd use this if the audio is playing automatically. Another way to add audio to a PowerPoint presentation, and this is the way that I prefer, is by going to slideshow and then record slideshow. The great thing about this method is that it will add timings to the slides as I click through it. Before I click record, just to point out a couple of options. If you had any notes, you could click here to see your slide notes. And then down here at the bottom, you can choose to be on video or not. In this example, it's just audio only. So I'm not going on video. I'm ready to hit record. So I click here, I get the countdown and I can now start recording my audio. So over here, I can advance through the slides. And as I said, as I click through the slides, PowerPoint is picking up the timings. So this slide's about Spider-Man, one of the best movies I've seen this year. And then once I've finished with the audio on this one, I can then go to the next slide. Here's another movie I've seen this year. This one's about the Indian cricket team in 1983. I'm not a cricket fan, but I really did enjoy this movie. Up here, you got options to pause so if you need to take a breather or maybe someone's rang the doorbell uh, but once you're ready just hit stop you've got the option here to play back the audio uh, to review it but once you've completed the audio you can just x out and by doing the audio in this way you get the audio icon down here in the bottom right hand corner if i click on that icon we get the same options that we saw earlier. Now for my bonus tip. This is a tip I've wanted to share for a long time, but I didn't know where to put it. So now it seems like a good opportunity. So how this one works, when someone double clicks on the file, it goes straight into playing the presentation rather than opening PowerPoint itself. To do this, when you go to save the file, save it as a PowerPoint show. And to learn how to make PowerPoint more engaging, then watch this video here.